if you have kids at home, this next segment is for you. This Friday, the newest batch of Disney Channel stars grown in the Disney Genetic Engineering Lab will be unveiled to the public. Right. Now, Tracy, most of our viewers are already familiar with a lot of the products that have come out of the Disney I know Lab. I have. Yes. But how exactly do you create a Hillary Duff or a Miley Cyrus? from scratch. Right. Well, we're going to find out exactly how it's done right now because joining us live from the Disney Lab is uh, one of their lead geneticists, Dr. Andrew Rourke. Welcome, Dr. Rourke. There's quite an operation you've got going on out well, there. Thanks, Jim. So the stars that we see on TV are actually grown right here? Uh, that's correct. They're, they're grown and uh, developed here. We engineer their brains for advanced singing and dancing capabilities, even pose it for photos. By the time they grow to desired size, uh, these child stars are fully ready for the camera or the, the concert uh, tours or whatever Disney chooses to put them in. That is simply amazing. <laughs> now, how long does it take to actually create a star from scratch? Well, not very long at all. We use the exact same DNA structure for all of our stars, then we simply tweak minor details like uh, hair color or skin tone. Right, yeah, we do have some footage here of some of the uh, well-known creations that have come out of your lab. Let's take a look. Yes, well, that's model 6831-A, publicly known as Mitchell Musso, standard male base with oh, a type wow. 3 skin pigmentation. Wow. And that's model 6831-B. We give them slightly thicker eyebrows and type 5 skin. Oh, so it's sort of like putting a puzzle together. There. Exactly, exactly. Okay. What in the... What? Is anybody else's brain doing fucking flips right now? This made my head hurt when I saw it. They're putting it right out there to you. Man, who the fuck is real? What do you mean they're just grown in a lab? This is why I try to tell y'all motherfuckers, man. These people, wow, I always knew they were, uh, you know, not just random people, you know, chosen off the damn street. That's a crock of shit. There ain't been a fucking casting call for any major fucking production since God knows when. What? These people are fucking made in a lab. And here we've got some of the images of some of the newest models. We're going to be seeing a lot of these kids it in the future. It really looks like you have someone for every kid in America right. to love. Did you hear what they just called them? Some of the models. They don't mean models as in... They, you know, pose for the picture. They mean models as in this is like a damn, oh, like when they ask you, uh, what model is your vehicle? Well, this is model such and such. This is model what he just said. Like, they got fucking numbers for names and shit because it's not a person. It's not. It, what, what in the fuck? That's the idea, Tracy. Our writers find it very liberating. Uh, for example, our new model, Haley, is a singing, dancing, snowboarding, half Japanese, half Indian girl. Wow. Now, finding her in reality would be impossible. Right, but sounds like a surefire hit to me. Oh, now. You hear what he said? Half Japanese, half Indian girl. Finding her in reality would be impossible. So basically, why do you think all these motherfuckers look so goddamn perfect and shit? They're so motherfucking pretty to you. They're so motherfucking, you know handsome and all that shit. Man, they're made in a fucking lab. This shit is all fake. Now this one's Zac Efron. I've seen him before. Yes, uh, Zac was actually one of our earliest My moms. daughters love him. I mean, he looks so real. You hear what he said? Zac Efron was one of our earliest models. What? So that tells you about when they started doing this type of shit. Early 2000s. Actually, I think we could have done a better job with Zac. He could show more human tendencies. Uh, if, if you look closely, you'll notice there's a certain deadness around the eyes. I do see that, yeah. yes. I'm sorry, it's hard for me to watch because all I see is uh, all my mistakes. Yeah. Well, he seems flawless to me. Well, he's holding up, but there was a bug in that first batch, and as a result, Zach's skin will soon begin to dissolve. No. What the fuck? He said there was a bug. So why do you think they'd be killing off these celebrities and shit? Because eventually, their bodies will deteriorate because they're not fucking real. They got a goddamn shelf life. So they got to kill off the character. Oh, poor Zac Efron. All right. Well, it's simply amazing. Dr. Rourke, thank you so much for coming in and spending some of your morning with us. I can't wait to see some of the... Stars have a five to ten year relevance ex expectancy. So because they're only going to be relevant for five to ten years, they don't even bother using real people. Fuck real people. Dude, I'm, I'm done. I'm just done. Is anybody else's head hurt over this? These new creations popping out of the lab. Um, I'm just lost. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments.